Hi, thanks for watching another tutorial. Um, today I'm just going to quickly show you how to use the terrain mask to create a texture for a mountain. So what I've got here is just a basic setup that we're going to recreate. It's going to give us looking something kind of like this, where we have this ability to use the height of the mountain to essentially paint on kind of this green texture and then up into our snow layer. So this is basic. This is only going to be a couple layers that we're going to add. Um, it can be further refined, but we try to keep everything pretty basic here. So what you're going to do first is create a landscape object. And we'll make this kind of interesting. All right. And now, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to get rid of the existing materials I have, is create a new material. Uncheck Reflectance for now. And we're just going to go into Color. And we're going to go to Effects Terrain Mask. All right, I'm going to move this over so you can still see it. And then I'm going to turn on an interactive render region, which is just going to show in, in real time what's going on. So we're going to go in. We're just going to focus now on enabling the altitude masking. And as you can notice, when I put this layer, put this on right now, it's a total whiteout. So we got to adjust some things. First of all, I'm going to put the minimum altitude to zero. And already we can see where we are bumping up against the uh, white and black line. So we're going to kind of adjust this down to maybe midway down the mountain. And this is just kind of clicking and playing around. And then the next thing we want to do now that we've kind of liked, we kind of like where we're at, is we're going to soften how these two interact, soften the mixture a little bit. So you can soften the minimum, which is what we're softening right now, minimum altitude of minus 83 centimeters. If we soften the max, we're not going to see anything because right now the max is way above but we could bring that down to something like minus 40. And now you see that we are softening the line which shows us where the max goes. So you want to keep this as a general rule if you're doing something with snow above the top of your top peak there, so to speak. Uh, so we're going to go up and above. Cool. All right. Let's get our soften. Min done. Go back up to a thousand actually. And that was really gonna sort of the more the greater the distance is between your minimum and maximum, the, the bigger that soften min is gonna be, soften minimum is gonna be. So now you'll see it, it covers a wide area, and so that, that's a little more realistic. The last thing we want to do here is mess with our noise height. So this is gonna create a very realistic layer boundary between the black and the white right now. Um, all right, so the last thing we got to do here is obviously change our colors. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to give us sort of a dark green color for a base color. And immediately we've already got a pretty nice realistic looking mountain boundary, I guess snow line boundary. Our snow goes all the way up into the mountains and it is masked on solely by height. Um, you can do something else if you want to do enable slope masking. Now this is where you can actually tell your mountain from let's say a 40 degree angle to a 60 degree angle. I want my layer, my snow, masked on there. So this is something that you could further add to your mountain if you want to add, you know, let's say, these real dramatic angles where it's 65 to 90. You want to add rock in these areas. You can see where the white is. You could add another layer and, and further do that. Um, but we're not going to worry about that now. We're going to turn that off for right now. 
and this is just showing you if I turn off my render region, put a floor down, let's put it right there, add a light, move it over, enable the shadows, and render. Very quickly, you have a pretty nice looking mountain terrain that can be used for background game objects or for the background scene. Um, you can even update this to be low poly. So if you get rid of the phone tag and reduce your uh, segments way down and even create you know, a randomizer in one of your the formers, you could really make this look like a low poly mountain now, which again kind of has that cool cartoony effect. So this has been a quick tutorial on how to do terrain masking in Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching.